This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to continue discussing character formatting tips. If you'd like to follow along, go into the File menu to Open, and in the Sample Files folder, scroll down to 0603, Hidden Options for Character Formatting, and just click Open. Let's start by opening the Character Panel. And if the options are not showing, go under the Options menu to show Options. And now you'll see all the settings as I mentioned in an earlier lesson. Some of the options that are under the Options menu we'll be discussing in a later lesson. Like for instance, all of the Open Type submenu, which allows you to do some pretty incredible things with all the extra glyphs that are available in Open Type. We'll also be discussing underline options and strike through options, which allow you to do some pretty amazing things with both underlines and strike throughs. But in this lesson, we're going to be discussing the other options under the options menu. The common formatting features like all caps or small caps, superscript, subscript, regular default underlines, and strike throughs. There's really no reason to come under the Options menu because they are all available right out in the open in the control panel. If you're not seeing the big T icons, you need to switch from paragraph formatting controls to character formatting controls. So if I select this first line and make it all caps, very easy to do up in the control panel. The same thing is true with small caps. So I have large and small caps. For superscript, which we've already discussed in a previous lesson, with open type, the register mark and the TM are already the right size. This particular open type typeface, Adobe Garamin Pro, reduces the size of the register mark and the trademark automatically. There's no need to apply superscript. But here's an example of when you might. Maybe you have some sort of a mathematical formula, and if you apply superscript to just the two, then it's pi squared. And subscript. If I was working on some sort of a chemical formula, such as H2O, I would use subscript for the two to make it smaller and put it down further below the baseline. Let me just scroll down for a second. I can also apply default underlines. And you can see it applies an underline. There are problems with default underlines. First, it's too thick for the type, and also it is too close to the baseline. We're going to talk about custom underlines and custom strike throughs in an upcoming lesson. Let me apply a strike through to this. And it's amazing some of the things you can do with underlines and strike throughs if you make them custom. Let me just scroll down a little bit further. There's something called ligatures. They are glyphs that are designed for when certain characters are next to each other. Characters that normally the spacing does not look that good. Things like FF. You can see there's still characters, but it's substituting this glyph for those two characters. Or FFI. It is actually getting rid of the dot over the I and using the ball of the F as the dot. FFL, another problem, or FI. And some open typefaces actually have additional ligatures. You can see there's a TH combination, a capital TH combination in Adobe Garamin Pro, and an FJ combination which also gets rid of the dot above the lowercase j and substitutes the ball of the F. Same thing with the FFJ combination, where it's getting rid of the dot over the j and using the ball of the F as that dot. They look much better and the spacing between the characters are much better. But what if I had a client or an editor who didn't like ligatures? 
You can easily turn them off by unchecking ligatures, which is checked by default, in the options menu of the character panel. And you can see now I'm back to just the regular characters. And there is a dot over the eye. I could do the same thing with these additional ligatures that are available in Adobe Garamond Pro, just by going under the options menu to unchecking ligatures. Does it look as good? Absolutely not. But if a client does not like ligatures, you have to have a way to turn them off. Okay, let me scroll down a little bit further. Another problem that you can easily solve under the options menu of the character panel is this. I have a name here, it happens to be my name, but I don't like that my first name is on the second line and my last name is on the last line. I don't want them to divide. What I can do is go under the options menu to no break. And we're going to be talking about other no break features in an upcoming lesson. But no break under the options menu of the character panel, as I'll mention then, is a better choice. So we'll be talking more about this in an upcoming lesson. We're going to continue discussing type formatting and character formatting in the next lesson.